Baez, the second baseman for the Shockers, 261. As his batting average, two homers and 30 runs batted in. As Doyle delivers and a swing, the ball hit sharply in the left field. Just eluded the grasp of Hernandez, the shortstop. And Wichita State with a leadoff single and a man on it first to Will Baez. As the tournament goes on, runner bluffs from second as a swing, the ball hit high in the air, fairly deep right center field. Chasing back Jamie Johnson, makes the catch over his shoulder as he hit the warning track. Gets the throw back into the cutoff man, Hernandez. There is out number two on the play. Baez does get over to third base, but Jamie Johnson just saved at least a run. A ball and no strikes. The pitch swung on. That one pulled deep on the right side. Parity couldn't get to it. It's on into right field. A run scores. The 2-2 pitch. Swung and missed. That one broke in on his hand. Had six hits in the Big 12 Conference Tournament. Went six for 12. And it's eight for his last 16 as he swings and hits this one in the air. Left center field carrying back. It's gone. That's a home run for Jamie Johnson. It didn't look like it off the bat, but oh, did it carry. And the Sooners have tied it six time this year that Jamie Johnson has let off the game with a homer, and we're even at one. Chuck said a little surprised on that, and I was too as I was waiting for the left fielder to catch him, and he just quit running. Most of the rest of the infield still in sunlight as a swing, a little looper hit into shallow right field, and that will get down in front of Ryan Ingrave. And Brian Hernandez says the Sooners' second hit. He's up there that initial season. Here's the 2 2. Runner goes. The pitch is a called strike three. The throw down didn't matter. Hernandez stumbled over the bag. Over white trousers, they've got the gold lettering and numerals. Black and gold caps is a swing and a miss. Bouchelle strikes out on the 2 2. Move on to take the one that survives there. Big score to give you is a swing and a ball hit over on the right side. Diving stop, Harity keeps it from getting into right field, and he just saved a run. And his only at bat tonight stands in with the open stance. Left side batter's box, and he rips that one past the first place from Baker, and that'll get down the right field line into the corner. A run scores. It'll wind up a double for Jones, and Wichita State takes a 2-1 lead. Action on the East Coast tonight. Here's the 2-2, swung on and hit in the air. It'll be deep enough to get the run home as Jamie Johnson Comes in from center, makes the catch, tagging it third on his way to the plate. His last lead, the throw cut off, and a sacrifice fly and an RBI for Clinton McKeever. And Wichita State leads it now 3-1. to one. No balls, one strike, runner at third, one out. Pitch swung on, and that one is hit deep right field. Ellison's going to stop in front of the 385 side, makes the catch. Another sacrifice fly, and the Shockers lead it 4-1. to one. The Spots the, the, the strike zone will widen. 1-2 pitch, fastball inside, hit the batter. Pitching staff got knocked around that night as the 0-2 delivery called strike three. Gonzaga with a 13-8 lead over second seed Georgia Southern. It's a swing by Hernandez and a ball into the shallow center field. Coming on, Jones dives, and he makes an unbelievable catch. What a grab by Ryan Jones. Big star by that one. Lead for the starter, Andrew Doyle, who went just two and a third. Pitch out, throw to first. In time, they got him has found the outside corner and he's widened the zone. A ball and two strikes, the pitch swung on and missed, strike three as that was a breaking ball and Hernandez strikes out 11 to three. Right here, it's 4-1 Wichita State, it's a 3-2, swung on and missed, wise. Tonight, Wichita State with a 4-1 lead as Baker swings and hits a ball, deep center field, carrying back, deepest part of the park and it's gone! Home run, Aaron Baker as it hit! The green batter's eye beyond the center field wall, and Bake has put a charge into this one with number 14. It's now 4-2 Shockers. Boy, that, he really wristed that out of here. It looked like he'd gotten out in front, but he's so strong. Shell took a hefty cut, and nothing was there. 0-2, swung on and missed, strike three. So Kelly strikes out the side. Chase Anderson. Who's 2-2 pitch, is swung on, hit back over the mound, charging Hernandez, has it in front of the bag at second, and throws to first, retires lastly. Missing down in the zone, he'll make the adjustment. 2-1 delivery, swung on, bounced out toward the shortstop. Nice play made by Hernandez, and he throws to first. Much taller, freshman Brian Flynn at 6-8. It's a swing by Hubbard, and a ball hit down the right field line. That one will one-hop the wall. Going to be played out there by Ryan Ingrave and Hubbard into second with a one-out double. And the Austins would love to see you. So leadoff hitter Chris O'Brien swings and hits that one deep in the hole left side. Here's Hernandez. Long throw in time for the out. But yet you may not have the same command. 
3-2 pitch, swung on and missed. That one dived down in the dirt. Just five over 500, but the Shockers leading here is a 3-2. Swung on and missed. He resets, ready to go. The 1-2 delivery, swing and a miss. That was the same pitch. Second on the team behind Wise, who has 17. Swings and golfs this one right field. Heading toward the gap. That one will hit and bounce to the wall. On his way to third base is Wise. In the second goes Baker. He's got a one-out double. Two hits in the game for Bank. And the Sooners in the tying runs in scoring position with one out. Here's the 1-0 delivery. Swung on that one lined in the left field. It's a base hit. That'll score a run. They're going to wave Baker to the plate. Here's the throw. It's in time, but the ball gets away from the catcher, Lastly, and back to the screen. And the Sooners have tied it. 4-4, RBI single by Garrett Bouchelle, and we're right back where we started. Well, Sooners, of course, the host at number one. Here's a swing and a bouncing ball toward the shortstop. Playing back on it, Brown had the ball play him, and safe at first is Casey Johnson. Bouchelle goes to third. Tall right-hander ready to go. 3-1 delivery, swung on. Hubbard hits it in the air, left field. Maskew playing over toward the line, going back to the warning track, and he makes the one-handed catch. Tagging at third is Garrett Bouchelle, and the Sooners have taken a 5-4 lead. 4-1, now they have the lead as Ellison drops a bunt, third baseline. Tough play, pitcher Kelly has it, throws wide right of the bag at first. Runner is safe, nice play by the first baseman McKeever. As the 1-2 pitch on the way, swung on and missed. He reached back and blew that one past Jamie Johnson. Move on here in the seventh inning as that pitch is a called strike three on the outside corner. He's sharp at 0-2. Back to the plate, swing and a miss, strike three. Chase Anderson is a machine here in the seventh. Sooner graduate, Mr. Treviso. Here's a swing and a ball hit into left center field. That one will get down in the gap. Will be backhanded out there by Johnson, the center fielder, and he'll get it back in. So a double by Will Baez, who's been a thorn in the Sooner side. 5-4 Sooners on top, out of the seventh is the 0-2 pitch. Called strike three. Crowd urging Anderson on the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. And down goes O'Brien. OU Baseball Radio at Yahoo.com. 0-2 to Engrave. Swung on and miss, strike three. Look around for that. 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. The Sooner fans now on their feet trying to urge on. The right-hander and the Sooners to a victory is a swing and a line shot into center field. Gets down in front of Jamie Johnson for a hit. Runner at first, tying run for Wichita State. 1-1 from Duke, swung on that one, looped out to the second baseman, caught by Harity, and the ball game is over. One in the books, four more to go to Omaha as the Sooners win this one 5-4.